Right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The topic we're about to talk about is somewhat sensitive. I mean, it is. It's a sensitive topic. Um, so I use some different wording here and there. It will still probably be blocked and demonetized by YouTube because that's just the way they roll. But basically, Ms. Marvel's father, the actor, anyway, who played Ms. Marvel's father, Mohan Kapoor, Ka Kapoor, whatever, uh, has been accused of being a groomer, child groomer gross stuff uh, sending nude pictures and requesting nude pictures of basically he's a pedo right like that's that's in short that's what he's accused of you know, being a pedo so pretty gross stuff um now obviously take all of this with a massive pinch of salt because at this point in time no one can there's no uh, validation of anything we can't legitimize any of the statements so it's interesting now i would say Broadly, in terms of looking at when people come to to sort of state these kind of things, normally, if you know, if uh, it's not true per se, uh, it would be an opportune moment to ruin said person's career. This person's already starred in a Marvel series, you know, like you would have thought anyway. If this person was making it up, they would say it before the release of uh, Ms. Marvel series, rather than after it if that makes sense now that doesn't mean that it's still not true like it could still not be true like i understand that but you look logically at why people do certain things and you can you know you can assess uh, an air of legitimacy based on that obviously as well as just general demeanor and and then I'm sure it'll be. I hope it'll be investigated. Anyway, I think any any pedo shit needs to be investigated. It's gross. Uh, so let's take a look, right? Again, it's pretty gross. Ms. Marvel's dad actor. So the the this chap basically, uh, Mohan Kapoor, uh, is accused of disturbing groomer activity. So, and they did this really publicly as well, by the way. So Mohan Kapoor, who made his MCU debut as Yusuf Khan in Ms. Marvel. Has recently become embroiled in a Me Too controversy. Has been it's not just Me Too. He's been he's been accused of being a pedo, right? Let's not just go to Me Too. Been accused of being a pedophile. Let's not dumb it down. I understand loads of people seem to want to legitimise activities with children. They're children. It's pedo. Okay. He's been accused of being a pedo. Not a Me Too. He's been accused of being a pedo. <sighs> it really does annoy me. When people are like, ah, oh, he's just been me too. No, he's not. I'd say it's worse. He's been accused of being a pedo. It's worse than just being me too. So the alleged survivor at Naya X3 claimed that when confronted regarding his actions, Kapoor attempted to gaslight her into believing she was at fault for the situation. Pretty uh, textbook groomer behaviour. If true, anyway, by the way. The Twitter user described her experience through a series of posts explaining the entire story of how Mohan Kapoor took advantage of her after they met through his partner at the time and developed a parent-like relationship. So when I was 14 years old, I was a fan of this serial actress and we became friends. Love to know how that came around, but never mind. Her partner at that time, Mohan Kapoor, also became friends with me. I respected the both of them, almost like second parents, and told them about my stressful life, but Mohan Kapoor took advantage of me. She added that the actor sent his DPs to her and continued to harass her afterwards, despite having apologised. He allegedly shared an interest in eventually marrying and having intercourse with the underage girl once she was older. We constantly talked until I noticed he started flirting with me. Then, when I was 15, Mohan Kapoor sent his DPs to her. He was apologising non-stop and was depressed. I forgave him, but after that he continued to harass me. Said things like how he was in love with me, wanted to marry me, wanting me to grow up to be with him, and can't wait for me to get older so I can sleep with him. Now I know that Mohan Kapoor was grooming me. The purported victim added that his partner at the time knew the type of man he was and explained her reaction to discovering the situation. His partner, now ex, knew the type of man he was. She was aware that he was talking to me. When I met her in person, I told her everything that was happening. A year later, I stopped talking to her after she started gaslighting me. I was so depressed about the situation. She told me how I threw my baggage on her. Ugh. If this is true, this is gross. Uh, I really, truly felt 
that this woman didn't care at all for what Mohan Kapoor was doing to me. She went on to note how this made her confused and depressed, even leading to her planning to take her own life while he ignored her calls. I was so confused and depressed, I'm not sure if it's Stockholm Syndrome or what, but I kept on thinking that all of this was my fault and kept on wanting to be his friend again. I kept on thinking that he really truly cared about me, but he didn't. My, my depression got worse and I was planning to take my own life. I kept on calling Mohan. Uh, he ignored my calls and at times told me to get over it then completely twist the whole story to make me look like the bad person and he kept on saying that he can't trust me. Uh, the user went on to reveal how she suddenly gave in and sent nude, pic uh, nude pics to him in the hopes of restoring their friendship. The last time I talked to Mohan Kapoor was 2020 and I was crying. That would have been when they were shooting this as well, I think, thereabouts. This came out, what, last... It came out this year? 2022, 20... Yeah, they would have... Yeah, they'd have been pre-production at the very least. Uh, Ms. Marvel. Uh, I really can't take any of this anymore, hoping that he would apologise and understand the trauma he had caused. Instead, he told me that he can't trust me, and the only way he can trust me again is if I hop on video chat and send nudes to him in order to be friends with him again. Fucking hell. And there to go, at India Me Too. Uh, so this individual pointed out how he accused her of misconstruing chat and claimed he was asking for nude images to strangely prove his innocence. Uh, when I stand up for myself, you gaslight me and blame me for misconstruing chat and your reasons for asking for my nudes was that you can prove your innocence. Does that even make any sense? Mohan. She also shared a conversation between the two which revealed Kapoor's response to being asked why he asked her to send him explicit nude images. Why did you ask me to send you nudes? To keep as proof of your intentions. You have misconstrued our conversations to make it sound that I was harassing you. I have all the stuff myself too. I don't say things because that's not what friends do and I won't either. Uh, again, if that's true, that's real dodgy groomer behaviour. Kapoor has recently privatised his own Twitter account, seemingly in response to the allegation that has led to the MCU actor being blasted across social media. Wow. This is interesting because he's been confirmed to return uh, as Kamala Khan's father in the Marvels. Uh, that that would be interesting. Marvel now dealing with their own issue, just like DC and the shit show that is Ezra Miller. However, his MCU future beyond that point remains unclear as Ms. Marvel has not yet been renewed for season two. This will be interesting. The latest allegations surrounding the actor's past sexual harassment and grooming are obviously disturbing, but are unlikely to impact his MCU future uh, unless legal action is taken against Kapoor or further allegations emerge to point to Disney's public image uh, is threatened. The studio may opt not to act. I would imagine they just won't do anything. That action could take the form of excluding the character. I don't think they'd do anything. Uh, look, if this is true, this is gross. Um, you know, I'm not saying I believe anyone at this point in time. You'd think, though, that if, if it wasn't true, it was making it up, they'd do it at the most opportune time, which is prior to the release, but they haven't, so I don't know. Difficult to say, really. I mean, difficult to say. Groomers be everywhere, I guess. Leave your thoughts down below. It's, uh, it's an interesting one. <laughs>